out there would like to help me. And so here, continue finding our nice guys' home. Um, yeah, I feel like we're, you know, it's definitely requiring a lot of uh, honesty and into just sharing my truth and the truth that we've been living, you know, and there is a reality that I manifest, that I create, that I project. And then there is a reality that the other ones, you know, like the intentions behind their actions, sometimes they're not the most conscious. And just seeing how little things here and there play out and avoids the words, you know, that they say they are. And, you know, just things they, they're say and it's not true. And then they feel offended because then we call them out, you know, call them out on their actions. So, yeah, it's been, like, interesting to continue just uh, seeing the pattern, seeing how some people are really not meant to be in your life, and just accepting the fact that it doesn't matter how much love there was and there is, you know, that just people are just not meant to be in your life. And so I'm working on detaching, working on relaxing into like what's gonna come into the future. It's hard being in between for sure. It's like lots of figuring out. It's really hard to just be in between. So now, you know, but it's good, it's good. Changes are good, changes are always needed. It, that's life, that's life constantly changing, growing constantly bringing new seasons, new like rebirths so trust in the process of nature into what's to be and yeah exciting because life is to have fun life is to really enjoy it you know and not to be all stressed out about just anything so really just wanting to be that really conscious parent and conscious being and to bring in just beauty and abundance into my life and that comes in so many different ways and I want to just trust the fact that I'm going to be supported and guided and loved and whatever it is that I'm going through right now it's all going to be so worth it you know because I'm going to be way in it with a better person with a better home with a better you know all my complaints let God does listen to them and you know like if we can appreciate the fact that we did have the chance and opportunity to really enjoy each other and make it make it up for the things you know that just keep us happy then okay then all those people are going to be removed and I don't want to complain at all I don't want to continue just feeling frustrated because I'm not being heard, I'm not being understood, I'm not being loved the way I want to either or cared for and you know just it's not being reciprocated for sure and and it's just upsetting, upsetting with myself that I have allowed myself to put myself in a situation where I'm not really you know and I'm seeing myself just really really seeing myself and how pride prideful I've been and wanting to maintain a certain relationship or something that really just does not serve me and it's just sucking the energy out of me and it's just creating distractions and I have created this relationship as a distraction of actual duty that I gotta do in life etc and use also excuses of whatever it is that I'm being told as a coping mechanism to still um, sabotage my own empowerment so I don't want to keep doing that and I know that so every time like a little crazy wave happen I just try to remind myself that I'm the one creating this reality for whatever reasons you're not gonna learn and I'm okay I'm okay accepting the fact of life as it is and the changes are happening and there is more more to do more to continue doing and life puts me in the places where I'm meant to be with the people that I'm meant to be so I truly appreciate I definitely called out my experiences exactly as I have it as I want it and I know now I have to really think consciously of what's what I truly desire 
ignore what I do, what I don't, and really be conscious about my manifestations because life does listen to you and wants to make you happy and there is no reason whatsoever for you to not be happy. So we are definitely being spoiled by God and He's constantly listening to what's what you do want and it's about claiming those desires and yeah, be as detailed as possible. I know that I have to really be extra mega detail, head to toe, um, internal mental health, um, emotional stability, all these little things that I never thought that a person really needed to put into a manifestation. Yeah, no, those are now key things and I'm feeling really, really grateful for all the people that just show up on my feed. They have such just level of commitment with themselves and honesty and purity and just open expression of what their process in life is and it's just beautiful to see that reflected and and to see just other me you know in different bodies and different experiences and still maintaining that integrity that dignity that grace so it's really empowering it's really beautiful to see people take on challenges in life you know like mothers like there's so many changes there is so much happening and seeing the resilience in people just really fills me up and gets me the strength that i need and i know that we're all really going through things and it's okay so everyone makes me feel it's okay it's okay to go through it you know just go through it you get above it and you continue flourishing you know and and it's that relationship, relationship with yourself, relationship with God, and being fully just trusting, 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 trusting all that's happening, just all that's happening, all that beauty and chaos, and just the dance that happens in between them all, and just see, we're just here for the ride, we're just here for the ride, God, you know why you're doing these things, I trust you, I know that you're doing it, you know, knowing that a good outcome's gonna out of it all and it's important to maintain that resilience thought of the end at the end of the tunnel and I do if it wasn't because of my earlier practices you know meditating and breathing and just like diving into my body and connecting to my body and relaxing into being if I didn't know what that was I I wouldn't know where I would be. I would probably let my mind run my programming or my body and continue just going without an end, I believe. So I appreciate so much the fact that we can actually sit down, ground, be at peace with ourselves, connect to something higher than ourselves, you know, way higher in trust and trust and trust is all a part of us there is no need to like freak out if you're constantly just seeing something bad it's because you're projecting like your mind is is trained to just see the negativity you know do you see bad 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 and then you're creating bad 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 so it's a mindset there's mindsets and if we are not aware of what kind of mindsets we have then they're going to subconsciously we're going to continue running out of uh just that programming, that unconscious programming, and we're going to continue manifesting and creating that reality. So I know that even with all the challenges that I have gone through all these past two years, and even becoming a mother, I have known, I have been aware of, you know, just little things here and there, and I have even consciously chose to stay, knowing this other half of the balance wasn't full, you know, wasn't there really. So, and that's something that I'm learning from myself, you know, how to really balance what I'm giving and what I'm taking and and how does that, how does it feel, how does that could feel just even, even out because we can be sucked out, you know, or the life sucked out of us. And we don't want to continue doing that and there is needs to be replenishment and and it's you know it's effortless i don't also want to have a lot of expectations and demand love either 
or somebody demanding love out of me either you know like I should be effortless it's because we love truly and enjoy who we are as we are and that's it and being in each other's presence your fulfills us and then give us an encouragement to continue working on ourselves and being better so and if there is not enough listening listening to what the other person has to say the other person is perceiving or feeling then there's only one way it's the other person's way, the one that's talking, but not listening. So, can't be that way either, and I don't know what men are going through right now, but I know that there is so much that we need to do, so that we continue clearing out, clearing out the way, you know, clearing out the connection the in between each other, so that we can fully, fully, fully come to, like, work together, Otherwise, we're just going to continue just arguing and fighting about what's what and yeah, just expectations, you know, like there is so much that we're to drop and it's easy. Like the mind to freaking just drop it all, be conscious in the present moment and for your own belief, for your own morals, values, virtues, then speak, you know, with integrity and true honesty of what you are feeling not just let the programming of what your parents told you or the TV told you or the radio told you, the government told you, no, like straight up, like be unique, be really, really authentic, authentic with your words, authentic with the way you're carrying yourself, the way you want to show up in life and the way you want to continue creating the relationship with God in the universe and this life in itself, how you want to continue projecting your own self. Okay, how are you going to really continue projecting? It's a lot. It's a lot to really be in charge of. And the better, the sooner, you know? The sooner, the better. <laughs> the sooner, the better. Please, the sooner, the better. Please, the sooner, the better. Because you want to have healthy relationships. You want to have healthy families. You want to have empowered you know, way of living. You really do. You really, really, really want to. And we deserve to be happy. We deserve to be empowered. We deserve to continue just striving for greater and not just settle for what the life is bringing you. Still dreaming, still desiring, it's still like imagining. There is so many abundant possibilities out there and I know I'm a little mess putting it all together to show up, finish in, but I'm still like feeding my subconscious mind to like continue striving for the things that I do want every day every minute no matter what every day every minute just there I know it's a lot a lot that's happening in the world right now and it's you know I come to trust the process of clearing out when it's to be cleared out and also to to see you know to really see what's behind behind the microphones behind the cameras behind behind the words that's been used and also through and what we're relying on you know there is a beautiful synchronicity beautiful domino effect you know it's bringing families to closer together is bringing you know we never know when we're gonna die so maybe we were starting actually to live because they don't know when it's gonna get us you know so maybe we were just actually living how they really truly want and I hope they do I really hope they do see people just dropping their jobs dropping things that they were not serving them anymore you know but it, and if there is things, you know, they gotta go through, they're challenging, they're still doing it, you know, and like, because <laughs> it needs to happen. And you gotta be a vessel, prepare, prepare, prepare to bring whatever it is that we need to continue healing with. Yourself first, right? Yourself first. follow me on my other channel I know I have to, uh, yeah I have been slacking a little bit on my YouTube channels you know but it's okay you know like I've been really truly enjoying this winter I've been taking time to really just being you know go back to myself 
and to continue find, doing that research, that research with myself, body, mind, spirit, and blending it all, and bring my observations to the people who come to me, you know, whoever comes to me for guidance, clarity, I mean, just, just to see me, I guess, it, it really, at the end, it's not what I have to say, but the frequencies and vibrations of love that we do share with each other, that matters, it must, and that speaks for itself in beyond words, and I trust that, you know, that's, oh, that's okay, that's okay, that's all good. We can trust that, we can trust that, we can trust that, we can trust, you know, we... And there is so much to teach each other to trust, again, you know, like, are we going to entrust ourselves with what they're going to say, because every seed is a, every word is a seed, they eventually, this lifetime or another one, they, it's going to sprout, so I really try to filter people out, they're not conscious of what they're saying, because I believe on that, and I truly, truly know that it's true like everything sprouts one day or later and we just gotta make sure you know that we're really mindful of what we're listening to what we are reading what we are you know really filter all your facebook and it's okay bless 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 all the things that we're filtering out you know like and i will grow and just continue moving in higher octaves I know it's been a beautiful process of of maintaining a discipline, you know. I've been still slacking a little bit, but I'm still, yeah, doing it, you know, not a specific time, but yeah, still doing what I need to do. And I want to continue finding the encouragement that just beautiful. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful to maintain a consistent way of living. And yeah, here we are, finding beauty amongst the chaos, trusting life and surrendering and accepting and, and bringing a little bit of spark to people's eyes, to people's life, non-dependently of what's everything, you know, whatever it is that's happening. Cloudy days, crazy governments, crazy, you know, just in the unknown, everybody fearing the unknown, and yeah, here we are, like, reminding each other to stay present and to really, truly enjoy what you got now, you know, you never know when you're going to lose it, so really, really enjoy, take a minute to be grateful, and to really, you know, appreciate, just appreciate so much that independently, every day is a gift life we, we can just go to sleep and never wake up we never know so really truly you have a gift right now you are alive so be conscious and honor your sisters keep honoring you know the life that you're carrying and doing a change making a little bit of a change in the world with your diet with your way you're speaking to yourself the way you're caring to yourself the way you're communicating to your children all these things matter, really, really, really matter. So, thanks for listening, you guys. Happy, beautiful Valentine's Day, and thanks for listening again. Hope that you have a, a beautiful, you know, meditation every morning, every sunset, and that you really find pa uh, time to breathe, do some uh, stretching, and really, really, like, put so much love in your body, so much love in your just what you have right now just put love everywhere and all around you continue protecting guiding finding good ways to continue sharing love so much love happy Valentine's Day bye